Good morning, everybody. It's Sharon Wilson, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in Australia, Stampin' with Sharon. I'm glad that you've been able to join me today. I hope you can um, stick around and create with me. Um, we're going to be working on the best remedy card kit from Stampin' Up! which is within Stampin' Up's kits collection. So um, all inclusive card kits um, or project kits that you can create um, and you don't need to add any extra products into the kit. So um, it's a great way to get your creativity juices going again, get your mojo back um, whenever I'm losing creativity um, inspiration I will grab out a card kit and just get creating and then once I've once I've made that or started creating then some ideas start flowing and it's a great place to a great way to get those ideas flowing um, when you're wanting to create something beautiful um, and so yeah I've um, I have the best remedy card kit today that I'm going to craft along. So I'm hoping that you can join me and you will craft along with me and enjoy the time just getting a bit inky and um, creative. And so I'm just going to flick to my overhead camera so you can have a look at that. Um, so here's the here's the kit and I'll get my picture in picture going. Um, so it's a just a, um, a little card kit comes in a beautiful little um, box and inside you will get your starry sky ink um, your starry sky um, just checking that's actually focused I hope it is <laughs> um, the starry sky ink spot a really really cute stamp set I think it's better if I don't if I sort of don't really put my hands behind um, it's a really cute um, stamp set with what is it a squirrel or I don't know whatever it, whatever that animal is squirrel chipmunk chipmunk I think it's chipmunk I don't know um, and then yeah you've got the uh, other cute uh, critters as well um, within the kit that are already um, pre-printed and die cut and so um, we're going to work on these ones today it's nine cards three of each design um, I'm actually going to bring out my Starry Sky ink rather than opening this one up. So I'm just going to set that one aside. And um, it's also got, usually has a block with it. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I've got my blocks here. So I'm going to use my blocks right here. And so I'll pull them out. But yeah, you sh oh, there's the block. <laughs> See, I told you it comes with a block. It comes with a block right there. Um, so you get a block, you get some embellishment. So let's open this up. Let's crack it open. I'll move that aside so you don't get the glare. I wanted to create something quick and simple um, and not have my brain sort of trying to work out what I'm going to make uh, because I'm going away this afternoon and I thought well I've got a whole heap of things I've got to pack and so a lot of stuff won't be available for me to get out and play with and so I just went mm, I'm gonna do a kit which is what I told you last week you also get some um, dimensionals as well but I'll I'll pull out some of the ones that I've already got as well because it just because some of them are already half used and I like finishing off sheets of dimensionals don't you I love finishing off the sheets of dimensionals. It's like it's like a reward or something because we've I've been so creative. Uh, so you've got um, three envelopes with the green check on it. You've got three with the yellow polka dots, and three with the blue stripes. The colours included in this kit uh, usually tells me where are they oh, um, basic gray crush curry granny apple green polished pink pool party and starry sky so this is the starry sky this is the crush curry and the granny apple green the card bases you've got the green um, cards with the um, the crosses on it that's going to be those ones. 
you've got some die cuts. So with this one, there's a square, there's a rectangle, larger rectangle, smaller rectangle, and then a heart. So we'll work out where they're going, go, going to go. If you're watching, come and say hello. Hi, morning, Kathy. How are you? Haven't seen you for a while. Um, we're doing the best remedy card kit today, if you've got one. Um, pull it out and craft with me. Uh, some card bases. And, oh, some really pretty stripes. And then you've got some little critters. Um, and so they're pretty cute too. And they're already pre-coloured uh, for you. And then there's some other embossed pieces. That's the polished pink. That's white on one side and polished pink on the other. Oh, we class prep along with me then. <laughs> um, and some other die cuts um, for the sentiments. And yeah. And then you've also got some glue dots as well. But I'm going to use my seal, um, stamp and seal for my cards. So the first one, let's get them all organized so we know where we're at. So the first one is these. And the three navy or oh, three starry sky pieces, and then the granny apple green. Three of the, these three pieces. So that's the first lot of cards. I think what I'll do is I'll I'll break them up into their separate sections, and then the little chick that's looking quite unwell is in this one as well. I'll set that one aside and I'll move the envelopes out of the way so you don't need the envelopes. Not at the moment. Um, and the stamp we're doing is a little birdie told me you were under the weather. So let's pull that one out. Uh, there it is. Let's put it on the side. A good way to get it straight, if you if you struggle to get this word straight. On your stamp if you just put it straight down onto your tabletop and then you can pick up the stamp and then it should be the, the lines should be actually straight um, next one we have oh, the granny apple green ones move them aside you've got the three hearts and then Skunk? Is it a skunk? Maybe it's a skunk. The way they paint the colour that in, that looks like a skunk. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what animal it is. Because it's in the stamp set. Oh no, I was thinking it was a chipmunk. Maybe it is actually the skunk. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's punch out these little mice. They're pretty cute. There's a, a couple of, um, there's a nice little mouse stamp set in the, as a hostess gift, hostess um, stamp set. If you host a party and you get enough sales, you can actually um, get the, a mouse um, stamp set as your, one of your hostess rewards. All right, so they're the pieces that are remaining for the last card. There we go. And this one is, ice cream is the best remedy for this. Oh, ice cream is the best remedy for many things. <laughs> so let's mount this one. Whoop. Straight. That one. What was this one? This one, enough. Even though this stinks. Oh, there's two. I'm here for you. Okay. <laughs> what else have I got? I've got that Ooh, wrong way. That one, and I'm here for you is over here. Yeah. Sometimes it gets stuck to my fingers. All right, let's go back to the blue one, and we'll um, we'll get creating. 
So this one is going to be this this panel here. So I'm going to leave it in the die cut sheet and I'm just going to stamp straight on there. And hopefully I stamp straight because that's very helpful. Oh, I don't think that was quite inked up. It wasn't quite inked. So that's that one. Let's skip over to the next one to stamp. And let's stamp the hearts. So we're stamping in the top left corner. And then stamping on the smaller smaller banner, this one here. So these cards are really quick and simple. Like I'm whipping through just the stamping. So then the assembling should be fairly quick as well. Um, and then the last one we're doing on the square. So that is all the stamping that we need. So if you, as a, um, yeah, the heart's really quite cute, isn't it? It's a really quite cute heart. Yeah. Um, this, yeah, this stamp, this kit is all inclusive card kit. Uh, it's $41, I want to say, um, for this kit in Australia. Um, and yeah, you get everything you need. You get the block, you get the ink, you get the stamp set and all the bits and pieces you need to create these cards. So it's a really, really good card kit. Um, and yeah, it's when your creativity isn't quite there for one reason or another, grab out a card kit and get creating using that because that can get your creativity going again when you really need it. So, all right. Um, so let's go back to the blue one again. And so on our instructions, I think I show you this all, all the time. Whenever we, um, it actually shows you what you should be using. So this one is the glue dots. And then you've got the little hexagons, which is actually the dimensionals. Um, so we're putting the dimensionals on the chick and the sentiment and then just sticking directly down the other ones. And then there's some embellishments as well that we can put on. So let's do that. Let's punch out the little blue bits that I didn't do before. I didn't bring a bone folder over with me, did I? No, that's all right. Let's use a block. Of a good crease, we we'll use a block, it works just as well. So, after I, after we finish my Facebook Live, I'm actually going to quickly pack my truck. I'm borrowing the husband's truck again this time to um, pack everything up for stamp camp for my upline stamp camp, which is three nights away. I'm really looking forward to it, it's what I need, especially after missing my retreat back in April. Kathy would attest to that. Not so crash hot. Wasn't so fun, but anyway. That is life. That is the world we're living in right now. <laughs> Things get cancelled at the last minute, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, the um, going away. Wish you were coming too, Kathy. 
but I will see you in November. All right, so we've got those pieces. We're going to do the granny apple. Again, just stick straight down. You can use your glue dots, but I'm just using the seal just because it's just a bit quicker. Just a bit quicker for me. I've been starting to prep my own retreat, which is in November, early, the first weekend in November. And so I've been starting to create and I'll be doing some more creating this weekend for my retreat but so if you're if you're in Sydney or in New South Wales or even if you're in Australia really um, or you're gonna be in Australia in November come along to my retreat it's not very expensive in the scheme of things hotels cost more than what I'm charging <laughs> so I'm um, yeah, so we're doing, I've got a retreat. It's just two nights in November, but it will be lots of fun. Lots and lots of fun. So we're using dimensionals on these ones. This is where sometimes I can go a bit wrong because I'll just go, oh yeah, I need to just chuck them on. And then sometimes you've got to work around other bits that are actually on the cards. Um, and I don't always look at that until after it's, until it's a bit too late. <laughs> but I'm just looking to the, to the instructions and I can't see any issue with me just putting dimensions, dimensionals on where I want. <laughs> So we're going to put our little chick uh, about there and then the sentiment is about there. That's cute. Let's get rid of some of these dimensional coverings. Sure, I've got him going a bit straight. Just like that. And then it's got some embellishments. So it's actually saying two of the big ones. Oops, one just flipped off. <laughs> two of the big ones and Three of the small ones. So. You can usually take your pick tool with this. I'm just using my fingernails at the moment. I think sequins are a bit easier to use your fingernails on if you've got them. That's what I find. There we go. So that's those three cards done. Only 20 minutes in. Awesome. Next one, <laughs> we're going to go with the skunk. So let's fold our cards and use the block to press it down a bit. Yeah, he's a cute little ice pack. <laughs> 
actually have ice packs like that in Australia. I don't think we like. I always see them in the cartoons or like on the yeah on the in the TV shows in America and stuff. I don't I don't ever see the ice packs like that ever. <laughs> so we're gonna seal. I'm gonna use seal on these guys. And dimensionals. Oh, so dimensionals on the skunk. Let's get them on. So I'm just going to move them up a bit. So, sorry, just make sure you can see. You can purchase the this kit online at my online store stamp on with sharon.com.au and then click uh, shop shop now I think it is now with the sentiment which is that I'm here for you um, we want to do some sticky stuff on one side or a glue dot on one side and then a dimensional on the other because it's actually going to be sitting slightly over the square the skunk so I want the dimensional on under the I'm here for you. That's what I want. But I think I'll just switch over to the smaller dimensionals. Where's my partly used sheet? There we go. So I want to do it on that side. And then a bit of Let's start assembling now that we've got all the adhesive and stuff sorted. So he's not, I don't know, is it centered? It is, it is centered, I think. Almost looks a bit off center. Looks slightly off center, but I don't think it is. So we'll do our little skunk and then take the dimensional backing off and because you've got the glue on this side and the dimensional on this side it actually should pop up on one side and so it should actually be even when you stick it down so then it won't move from there. Our heart, our skunk, because life stinks. See, it's skunks are thinky. <laughs> so when you do lots of prep like this, it's it's yeah, assembling is actually pretty quick and simple. And easy so that's um there so then the what have we got we've got three flowers looks like stars but there's no stars three little flowers And then one big sequin and two little sequins. Where's my little ones? There's one. Oh, there's the other one. Okay. So one's down here, one's down there, one's down there, and then one's up the top here, in the top of the heart. Okay, so there's my other three cards.
They're pretty cute too, aren't they? There you go. And lastly is the little mouse. Look how cute he, she is. She's pretty cute. So let's fold these ones up. So you can see how quick this is to assemble. And then once you've, yeah, as I said, once you've got, um, once you assemble these, then you've still got the skunk you can play with. I reckon you can turn the skunk into a squirrel or something or a, um, what's the other one? Squirrel, squirrel, can't think. Um, <laughs> I can't think. What other animals do they have in America? <laughs> Skunk, squirrel, um, chipmunk. That's the word. That was the word I was thinking of, chipmunk. Yeah, the envelopes, um, the embossed panel is quite cute. This, this, one's, this is embossed and this one's embossed. Oh, I need to get my scissors out, use the edges. And I've got these guys as well. And then the other two panels are all just stuck directly down. So you've got one of each of the sent, um, sentiment images, sex sentiment pieces die cuts that you can actually use on another project or if you make a mistake i want to make sure that they're actually all the right way <laughs> yeah, if you make a mistake you can re-stamp so they do give you an extra one and you can also flip it over and you can stamp on the other side if you need to too Okay, so these are my mice. Let's just take me some backing papers off. Oh. Just move these guys out of the way and get the other bits prepped. So these ones are all just being stuck straight down. One's over. Oh, where is it? There's a sticky stuff. So we're going to stick the pink panel on, the yellow panel, our cute little mouse, and the sentiment. So it's taken me less than half an hour to create these cards. Obviously I'm just following the instructions. So it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, but yeah, it's something that you get creating. You make, a, um, make the projects and then keep the stamp set out and just do some more creating. So this one's a couple of the big ones. So let's pull them out like I did before. Because it's actually it's 
quite quick if you do them all at the same time. And you'll have a few extra embellishments left over as well. So if you'd really like to put extra embellishments on your projects, you can. So you've got a few left over, five left over, not too many. And so you've also got your envelopes. I like her little ice cream bucket too. <laughs> it's pretty cute <laughs> um, let's just take that one off so oops wrong one sorry that's not me that one sorry that wasn't what I meant to do I meant to do that one <laughs> whoops sorry about that <laughs> back to our regular scheduled broadcast uh, Ah, live. Um, so yes, you can shop with me at stampingwithsharon.com.au and click on shop. Um, and yeah, you can purchase this card kit. Um, as I said, it's $41. Um, I think it's a great buy. You've got like when you go to the shops and you buy cards at the shops, you're spending upwards of seven, eight, nine dollars and yeah, you can, you've got nine, nine cards. Um, with this project, um, whatever that works out to be, what, $4, $5, but you also get the stamp set. Um, so you get to yeah, keep, keep this really cute stamp set um, and the little ink spot. So you get um, extra for your money. So it's so, so lovely and so cute. And you get the beautiful gift box as well. So you can use the gift box um, you can make these cards, then you could give them give them to someone um, as a gift if someone sort of yeah is in need of some cards, or if you have a friend that um, needs a bit of pick me up for um, because they haven't had a good time of things lately. Um, this is a good card kit you can actually give to them, and they can actually make it up themselves and just enjoy some creativity time. Um, so yeah, so that's the, you get the little stamp set, you get the ink spot, you get the block, you get the, um, glue dots and you get the, um, dimensionals as well. You get instructions, you get your instruction sheet, wherever that, there we go. So you get all of that um, for forty-one dollars, and I think that's that's a bargain, absolute bargain. And if you got a couple of them or a few of them, go have a look at all the different kits collections during celebration till the end of August. You get to choose an item free if you spend ninety dollars or more. Uh, so for every ninety dollars, you get to choose something for free from the celebration catalog. Um, so yeah, so that's. Um, that's the remedy, uh, uh, the best remedy card kit. Um, and so, yeah, you get, in, you get the little box. And so now that I've actually made them, I can put my cards away in the little box. <laughs> and so you've got the little ink spot, the stamps, and you've got the extra embellishments as well. And a few extra pieces to um, stamp on and that's your box that's your kit how awesome is that so <laughs> that's um, yeah I think it's a fabulous fabulous kit that um, you can purchase and get creating and enjoy some inky time so that's all for today um, it's a short one today only 
only a bit over 30 minutes. Um, I hope you enjoyed this card kit and I hope you will purchase one and get creating. And um, I hope I've inspired you to be creative. And I will, next week is a bit of a different week. We're actually, my husband and I are away because our girls are away. And so I will probably do a pre-recorded video um, or I might do something while I'm away. I don't know. We'll see. I will try and let you know before next Friday, but 10 o'clock the following week, I will be back if I'm not here next week. Uh, but 10 o'clock Friday, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.